Okay, so to get started, just grab all of your ingredients and pop them on the bench. Make sure you've got everything you're going to need. You'll start off by adding two thirds of a cup of dried red lentils to a medium saucepan and then about two to three cups of water. Put these in the saucepan and then pop that on a, whatever your favorite burner is at medium heat range and then leave to simmer. Grab your onion. I like to use either two medium onions or one very large onion. Peel that off. And then once it's peeled, you're going to slice and dice, keeping in mind that however big the chunks of onion are is how big they're going to be in the final soup. So if you don't like having, you know, super big pieces of onion, just slice that down. Or like, I guess you could leave it out if you're not keen on onion or you could use less onion if you want. Just I like to change up recipes based on my own personal taste and that's completely fine. Just go ahead and do whatever you feel comfortable with. Once you've sliced up all the onion, take your favorite oil. I like to use extra virgin olive oil. Drizzle a bit in a large saucepan and then pop that on basically the largest burner that you have. Make sure to stir your lentils and make sure they're not sticking to the bottom of the saucepan. That would not be fun. Okay, and pop all of your onion pieces into that large saucepan to warm up a bit. Get started on your capsicum. So slice off all the, the edge pieces, I don't know what they call it, it's like bulbs or something, the, the good bits, whatever. <laughs> you can use the seeds if you want, I don't personally use them, that's fine. Once you've got all your pieces that you want to use, just do the same thing as the onion, slice and dice um, as large or as small as you want the eventual chunks to become. I find it easier to actually turn my chopping board around than to turn the the food around for this and then you know mix around your onion pieces a little bit make sure your lentils aren't sticking again and add your capsicum to that large saucepan where the onions are okay so grab your favorite peeler and start peeling those potatoes i like to use three medium to large potatoes and then i i slice and dice them pretty big. I, li I like a good chunky potato in my soup. How long can you chop potatoes for? It actually takes me a while. I, I am not a fast chopper and I'm also very accident prone. Once they're all chopped up, chuck all your potatoes in that big saucepan, mix everything around a bit and then without draining them, take the lentils, pour them straight into that big saucepan too. Mix everything around, Make sure it's all like not in clumps of onion versus capsicum versus potato. <laughs> and now add your water. I like to use 1.5 liters of water for this. The more water you use, the runnier it will be. And the less water you use, the more of a like stew type consistency you're going to get. Okay, now it's time to start the roux. So take two tablespoons of that same oil that you were using before, pop them in a small saucepan and you will be putting that on the lowest, like lowest setting of your burner that you have. So turn that on and then yeah, lowest setting possible. Now, once you add your flour, you need to apparently take it off the heat to mix it in, I don't know why, I just follow the recipe. And then once it's all mixed in, do not leave this. Do not scroll Twitter, do not update your Instagram. Don't look away for a second. You just have to keep mixing it because it can burn so fast. <laughs> I've burned my roux so many times. Not today though. <laughs> okay, and once you've done, it will be like a a light caramel color and kind of almost foamy bubbly looking at this point you're going to take some of the liquid from the large saucepan add it into the roux and then mix it in like if you use a small amount it's going to come out looking almost a flubber like consistency you know like the movie from the 90s once that's done add a little bit more liquid into the the roux mixture mix that all in and this time you're looking for a a smoother consistency kind of like a, a, a thick custard 
basically. <laughs> now you can add that roux just straight into the soup and that that's the basis of how you turn water into soup basically. <laughs> so scrape that all in there, get as much as you can. Like I mean don't be pedantic about it, you just want you know, maximum output. And then mix that all through, getting it getting it all through there, make sure there's no big clump of roux versus whatever. <laughs> now it is time for the spices, this is my favourite part. I like to use a vegetable stock. And oh yeah, here's where I fucked up. I used a really small strainer. Sweet paprika. And I added that to the strainer, which is fine. We're fine up until this point. Here's where I failed. I put coriander leaves in the strainer. Like, the, the leaves are like five times as big as the smallest strainer hole. I don't know why I thought this would work. Add in some ground hot chilies. I actually used up like the very final remnants of my bottle, so I only had like a, a tiny bit left and I just threw the rest of it in there to be done with it. <laughs> and now we're moving on to onion powder. Onion powder just added to everything is my jam. So just add a bunch of that. Now time for turmeric. Adding that in there and I'm just adding all of that into the strainer. And some garlic powder. And see here's where exactly where I realized what I had just done. It's not sifting properly because of those coriander leaves so I ended up just giving up right about here <laughs> okay and just dump all of your spices into the soup mix it all around so there's no big clump of leaves and shit and then you can move on to the next step which is tomato paste I like to use sachets because I don't use tomato paste very frequently so there's less waste for me that way so pop all your tomato paste into that big saucepan stir it all around and then you can let it simmer for a while just check your potato once the potato is done then your soup is done okay so to check your potato just grab a small bit in an extra bowl stab it with a fork and if you can stab through it without decimating it then it's done that's perfect and serve it up like <laughs> my favorite thing about the soup is making it and then eating a bowl of it immediately so good <laughs> 